Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Alice. Let's cut straight to the chase. We were in the, uh, the Mad Hatter's area, and the Mad Hatter himself looks a bit worse for the wear. We just came out here and heard this creepy message coming from what I assume is this... speaker. Let's see, cranking up and pressing down. A truly glorious sight it is. This game's visuals are over the top. Assemblage for destruction, as required. Once again, a giant teapot. The guy's obsessed with his tea, man. Smelling and regurgitating. We saw all of these last time. Let's move in. Oh no, this must be the way I came up. Okay. Oh right, the umbrella. Press E while focused to block. Fair enough. If time correctly... As I suspected. Oh, there's my opportunity. A menacing ruin, new enemy, and it's creepy. Holy crap. Let's try that again. Ooh, look at that. Now I guess I kill it. I deserve that. Let's try it again. That was slow. Ah. Okay, I guess I'll save it for the projectiles. Alright. I like the way she spins it. I think we're getting the hang of this. Ooh, you like, oh my god. Didn't expect him to reflect it. Oops, try it again. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Just a regular block. There we go. I'm getting this. Off with his heads. Ah, I press spacebar instead of shift. Thank you. Too bad some of those power-ups fell off the ledge. I would have liked those, uh, roses. Ooh, looks like I have a choice of which path to take. Annoying enemy? Well, whatever. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, I overheated. Perfect bad timing. No, don't res- Ow. Alright. That's one. Okay. Now I have access to both places. So, smelling and regurgitation, or cranking and pressing. I'll go to smelling and regurgitating first, because I'd rather get that over with first. Honestly, I don't like the sound of it. And I probably won't like the smell of it either. Alright, let's see what's inside these boxes. Uh, I got some health. Better than nothing, I suppose. It's amazing how much I do not want to go here. Uh. Well, we knew about that. Collect teeth to upgrade, we knew about that. God damn. Payday for good workers has been postponed indefinitely. Payday for bad workers is cancelled. Wow. A good worker is All right. a worker. Take to live to and work. work on the way. The steps are steep. Take them one at a time. And vice versa. I shall, Cheshire Cat. Be Thank a bad you. Worker. Bad workers are slaves. This voice sounds kind of like Rusty Pete from the later Ratchet & Clank games, doesn't he? The School of Piracy! Now, was that a walking eye? Get out of here! Stop creeping me out! Alright, I'm getting out of here so I don't hear that voice anymore. 
I will not be a bad worker. I want my payday, which is postponed indefinitely. Oh, is that the Dormouse? Let's take a look. I gotta find a way to shut off that speaker, man. That's a pretty soul-crushing uh, announcement there. Well, let's get this dial working. Why do I get the feeling I'm not gonna like this place? <laughs> and work! Decadence, excess waste, the Hatter's madness ends today. Why would this be in Alice's head? We have like rebellious factions within Wonderland in Alice's head. Your new leader, Dormouse. Oh, did he actually take over? I guess he kind of deserved to. Hatter screwed him in the last game. Still, I don't think I like the sound of the Dormouse. Your new leaders, the disturbing looking hair and Dormouse. I'm not gonna like seeing them. It's gonna be creepy. You know, even with the physics turned low, this glass looks pretty cool. More teeth. More teeth, I say. Look at all the slag. It's all bubbling down there. And there's a teapot. I get the feeling it's not safe to approach. Yep. Oh, it's just one of those. Crap. Whoa, hello. Teapot goes first. Ah, ah. Once again, I gotta move my left hand all over the all over the place in order to do anything right. I do love how your attacks take precedence over those weak enemies' attacks. Scuttling all over the place, isn't it? Boom, baby! It's a lot easier when I can just simply left click and I don't have to actually press one. Out, vile pollutants. Yeah, the physics the physics being low definitely removes the enemy's remains. Like you saw in installment number two, when the enemies were dead, their body parts just stayed on the ground. That murdered my frame rate. Now let's go get ourselves a memory. I'm sure it'll be a pleasant one. With gas laid on, Alice, we'll go to Brighton on what we save on beeswax candles and oil. <laughs> gas! The wave of the future! Don't worry, it's not like anything bad will happen. This entire game has been a cautionary tale against gas. <laughs> you should have stuck with beeswax. Let it be known, people in 2011, beeswax is the real safe way to go. Also, don't have cats walking around your damn kerosene lamps. Actually, this looks pretty beeswaxy. Look at all this melted metal. Oh god, that is a gigantic teapot with an eye. And another gigantic teapot with an eye. And another gigantic teapot with an eye. I hope they're not somehow enemies. And I kind of hope they're not self-aware, even though I suspect they are. Huh? Wait, what? Brain? Well, I've been in there, does that just mean memory? Now what does that say? Probably just bottle, but let me see. Okay. In case you couldn't tell from the glowy objects in the distance anyway. Oh. Oh, lever? Okay. Ugh, do not want. Hey kids, go into the molten tea. But where is the lever? That couldn't be anything, could it? Yeah, it seemed like a bit of a stretch. So where do I need to go? And why does this look like a face? Ugh. So where's the lever? Is there something over here? Can I do anything here? I don't think so. 
I wonder if I should even head back to the memory area one more time. There shouldn't be anything back here. Nothing on the floor for sure. Even though it probably just means memory, I'm gonna check there anyway because there's a picture of a brain on it. Probably not though. Nothing. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't even see that ledge. I was just gonna try shooting their eyes. Maybe they're too far away, or maybe it's just ineffective. I did not see the ledge directly in front of me. Now, what's this? Oh, a light bulb. Old school light bulb. But is there anything to do here? Go backward for. Oh, a keyhole! Aha! Uh -huh. And a skull. And the. Door mouse and the devil thing? Again with the devil thing. Does that just mean generic enemy or what? And there's nothing further down. Alright, keyhole it is. There's a lever. Nothing up there? Alright, let's do it. Now I can go back and actually have a place to go. But how do I get back unless this gate opens? There we go. Onward and outward. Now where's my platform? Oh. Alright. Um. I don't think I could jump up there. Where am I supposed to go? Don't tell me across. It doesn't even make sense. It's way too far. Oh! That was way too close. Whatever, I'm off. Yeah, whatever, dude. All you are is free teeth. A joke of a fight right there. Now I can go this- whoa. Uh, yikes. I guess the trick is once it gets all the way up, you will die. It'll just dunk you. Better get out quick. Ugh. Okay, in we go. Your new leader, Dormouse. I really get the feeling this is going to be darker than I expect. And I'm expecting something pretty dark. Oh, you little... Alright. Whoa, hello. Enemies and more enemies. Forward industry. You know it's bad when the Hatter's indisposed. Flip the lever to cool the metal. You like his uh, glowing nighttime cat eyes? Crap. Alright, next save point will probably do it for me. I do not need to hear about your damn live and dead workers, I'm sorry. Alright, proper fight, let's go. Avoid the other teacup things, teapot things. And we're done. Aha. Alright, now how do I get to that one? Evidently there's some lever to cool the metal. I can go across. That's almost certainly way the hell too high. Yeah, that's not happening. I'll deal with you later. Much later. Uh... Aha! Whoa! Okay, now we're doing it. Now we're cooking with tea. Across I go, but ooh. That looks uncomfortably warm. Oh god, yeah, I should have seen that one coming. That was clumsy on my part. Oh, but it puts me right back here. 
talk about your easy modes. Alright, let's do this thing. Once I know how to fight these enemies, it's nowhere near as bad. Oh, you like that? I blocked instead of dodged. Not that it matters, this thing's screwed anyway. Bye bye Okay, well after the next auto save thing I'll save, because I was really brief. It is a shame you can't save whenever you want. That's like a real shame. Oh well, let's cool that metal. Probably that slag pot over there. Um, oh there we go. Oh, vent. Whoa, it cooled everything. Cool. And I heard a pig snout. And I see. Oh, god damn it. I really hate those things. But the first thing I do is this I. Invisible walls. Okay. Yeah, these go first. Oop. Okay, now I can fight properly. Alright. Now we're in for it. Ow. Oh, he's blocking. Alright, fine. I press D. I guess I'm too slow. Oh, I have to focus on him. Unfair. Holy crap. This guy's rough. Gotcha. I'm loving this dodge option. It's crazy. One. Two. Ow. This guy's kicking my ass. Ugh. All right, that's it. It's on now, baby. You forgot this existed, didn't you? <laughs> Out of my way! Out of my way! I'm better than you. Well, I'll kill that thing instantly. Remember what a pain it was to kill those things at first? Also, I should probably actually fall off. Just because you're not supposed to fall off, so there might be secrets down here. Also, health. Oh, go, go away! I hear slithering. Oh! I need these collectibles. And that's the tooth! <laughs> Moving on. Anything down here? Doesn't look like it. I'd like to know where that lousy hive is coming. Oh! Hello! And my life just got easier. Whoa, hello. Stop it! I don't even know where you're coming from. Can I still hit it? Alright, we're done. Kablamo! I forgot to really... Look, dude, I'm just trying to explore. Go away. I would like any secrets if I could find them, but I don't see any. Of course, then they wouldn't really be secret now, would they? But I'm getting no glimpses of anything. This area actually seemed like, other than just getting a couple of teeth from enemies, or a waste of time. But whatever, I did get my health back, so I can't complain. Now that I'm back up here, I'm going this way I came. Where's that snout? All aboard for progress. It's like freaking Bioshock over here. Well, in any case, I will get that collectible. It actually looks like a rather difficult jump. Yeah. I'm glad there doesn't seem to be fall damage. Because you know I'd be getting a lot of that. 
you know what, while I'm up here, I'll take a look from here for that snout. Because I absolutely do not see it. Huh. So close, yet so far. Bingo! Remember, Alice, don't curse the darkness or the cold when you're in the library at night. I won't? Now, is the hog's pig snout, like, down here? Is it, like, in here? Oh! Oh, it was here the whole time! I feel foolish. Secret area, ho! Beautiful. Okay, so this area was worth dropping down into. Alright, well, let's just get out of here. The Hatter's Madness ends today. Trade one lunatic for another, man, I tell ya. Memories provide important pieces of the past. And this is a safe point, but I'll see where I can go from here. There's the tempting teeth that appears to be the way forward. But then again... I guess that's it? It's just an abyss down there. Alright, turn it around. Oh! Pepper grinder, mouse, cat! Pepper grinder again. Oh, it's just really spelling it out for me. Yeah, I. Okay, I know. Step up and tap your nerve. Jump to the first vent, then the next, and ride the currents up. Can we have a remix of On the Wings of Steam, please? That song was goddamn good. Is that is that anything? No. Okay. Well, at least we'll get to literally ride on wings of steam. Well, maybe not wings, you know what I'm saying. We'll get to literally ride on metaphorical wings of steam. There. Now hold on. Keyhole to the front, pepper grinder to the left. Now what did I do? Up and up, huh? Well, I'll take the keyhole first. So many arbitrary keyholes just lying around, lying around. And I am sorry for the gamma. In fact, you know what? I wonder if I can mess with this right now? Yeah, I can. I'll take it a definite step up. Let's see if that makes it a little easier for you. It makes things a little grayer for me. Oh, hello. Ah, I'm not quite... There we go. Oh, hey! Okay, so this was apparently a secret area. Unless, again, I can hit that thing, I doubt it. Yeah, probably better off not disturbing that thing anyway. Yay, free teeth! I love teeth. When... You know, I could spend ones that aren't my own. Okay. And now we fly on wings of steam again. Pick up a little reward. Hop on. Hopefully I can survive the jump. Okay. Yeah, I'm up top. secret cash in here. Well, this really isn't so much secret as it is painfully obvious. Now, what did that say? You think? They were sitting right in here. You don't have to tell me things that I could not have possibly missed without you. Can I get a... Oh, duh. I guess I have to make that long jump? Fine. That was actually pretty close. Alright, I got my teeth. Now what? Do I fall in here? Is there anywhere else to go? Oh! Almost missed that. Tricky, tricky. I like how the game kind of auto-zooms for you. Ah, oh, not quite. Oops. 
I gotta upgrade this this pepper grinder next. I get the feeling it'll allow me more ammo, which is like I, I need that. Okay, so there's no going in here, at least not yet. Up we go. Pressure plate. I get the feeling there's another puzzle plate, so I'll just drop the clockwork bomb right now. Yep, I called that. Okay, auto save. So here, in this vast space, with polluting looking clouds, I'll summon the treasure cat. Monsieur Cat has nine lives, Alice. I hope you have as many. Ha! <laughs> Looks like we're in for some dangerous platforming. But, before we get to that, I will stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. We picked up Alice's umbrella, which allows us to finally block. And as a matter of fact, we actually need the umbrella to beat the new enemy we fought. That insidious ruins, older, angrier, thrice-headed brother. With blocking capability, no less. You get to reflect his projectiles and then wail on him to your heart's content. This guy's pretty hardcore. Also, it seems that there's a reason the Mad Hatter has been deposed. Apparently, of all people, the Dormouse took over. I find it ironic that he's got such a good work ethic, considering that he was always on the verge of passing out in the original story. And, you know, in the Disney movie, too. And in the game, actually. The first game. Although that was because the Hatter had kept him doped up, which was pretty sad to see. Always comes in time for tea. But now he appears to have made the Mad Hatter's dystopia somehow more dystopic? Not entirely sure how that works, but he's pulled it off. Are we going to see the Dormouse? I can only hope so. Until next time, everyone.